Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel and I would like to welcome all of you who are new to my channel. Welcome to another amazing episode of my vlog. For today's episode, I'll be talking about how to get certified as a scuba diver and also I'll be discussing the different dive progression in each dive entry levels. And before I'll start, I just want to share a little background about, about myself, how I was able to get involved with uh, scuba diving. I started diving nearly nine years now. I started uh, 2012. And at first, I was very hesitant because um, I'm afraid of deep water and also anything that's down there. But that totally changed when I started my open water course. And I was just so lucky that I was that I have um, a very good instructor and a very patient instructor. So I get hooked up uh, from the first time that I was diving. And that's how literally it started and also the reason why I am having this um, vlog as one of my episodes of my channel it's because um, most of my friends or most of the people that I get acquainted with ask me how I was able to um, to get certified as a scuba diver or how to be certified scuba diver and this episode is actually um, a request from one of my subscribers. So just a shout out to my cousin, Luke K. He has also a, a YouTube channel. So please do subscribe uh, to his channel. This episode is not all about me, but this is all about you, how to become a scuba diver. So what are we waiting for? Let's go and let's get it on. The first step that you need to do is find a dive center. Uh, you have to find a dive center that has a good reputation when it comes to diving. You will be able to find this one through Google. Just search a uh, dive center in Google and then you will see the different uh, star ratings in each dive center. So if they have five stars, four stars, it means that they are that they are dive centers that have a very good reputation when it comes to diving and also when it comes to uh, dive certification. Second is to find an instructor. For me personally, dive instructor really uh, play a great role of your dive um, journey. When I was um, doing my open water course, uh, I was just so lucky that my dive instructor is, was very patient and also very understanding and it is also important that you need to build a camaraderie with your dive instructor because this will be the person that you will be uh, doing your journey to dive and also the, this will be the person that you will be uh, dealing with in uh, for three or five days while doing the, the course. So it's really important to get a very good, friendly and very patient uh, dive instructor. After finding your desired dive center and also a good instructor, then now you're ready to go. When you get inside to a dive center or in a dive resort, you will be greeted or you will be, you will be seeing a dive progression chart that looks something like this. Now it really depends on you on what organizations or what type organizations you want to be part of but uh, just keep in mind that whether it's PADI, it's SSI, it's NAWI, CMAS or so on and so forth they are just the same or the dive entry level in each courses are just the same because each dive organization has to meet the requirements of the diving world body. The first level or your level one is what we uh, famously called as open water diver course. In this uh, training, you will be able to learn how to assemble your own gear, how to 
to gear up on your own and also uh, you will be the you will be taught how to have an entry and exit from the water safely and also in this training you will be able to learn how to take care of your own dive gears you will be also learning the science of diving and also some basic essential water emergency procedures now for me personally this is uh, like a ticket for you to become a certified scuba diver and also you need to really be in focus um, in this training because all of the basic skills that you will be learning from this training you will be carrying it over to the next uh, dive entry courses or dive entry uh, level that you want to enroll in the future water course can be completed within three to five days and you need to also complete four to five dives and the maximum depth that you will be doing is 30 feet or 18 meters and also um, the question is will there be any required uh, number of dives or amount of dives that you need to complete before uh, that you can move on to the next level the answer is no zero but my personal recommendation is 25 lug dives meaning to say you need to have 25 uh, fun dives for you to really move on to the next level but it's okay it's really up to you um, if you want to do a back-to-back -back courses with your open water and also for your advanced open water but if you come to think of it um, open water you have to complete four to five dives and also with advanced open water you need to complete four to five dives but nine to ten dives um, in total will that make you an advanced open water for me, no. Um, that's why I recommend 25 lag dives. Uh, in my own personal experience, I've waited for a while for me to really uh, proceed to the next level. I think when I started enrolling myself to advance open water, I have already um, 85 dives back then. Um, for me personally, uh, fun dives, um, that's when you get to have different experiences, dive experiences, and learn different dive skills in the water. And that makes you really um, a little expert of your own and understand really the diving, the science of diving. And also personally, um, not, not to really um, give a bad words to those divers that, I've, that I have dove with in the past, but um, meron kasing ibang dive master na or ibang experience or ha divers na maraming dive logs or na um, that I dive in the past, uh, that I dive with in the past. Pero parang um, medyo mediocre lang yung, yung diving skills. So maybe um, I don't know what's really the reason but that's just my observation. So as my suggestion you need to, to really enjoy each level before you proceed to the next one i was able to dive with someone who is an open water diver but he has been diving for five years or so and he has more than 400 400 logged dives and he's a very great diver i think he is the most great diver that i've ever dived with and also i asked him about his dive experiences and i will never forget this one he made mention that you have you just have to keep up your dives go dive have fun in diving and gain more skills and experiences while you are diving which is very important and again don't rush because only fools rush in the next dive level or our level two is what we call advanced open water in this training this training is typically being taught um, in five dives now it really depends on the dive agency but every dive agencies or organizations requires you to have one deep dive one night dive and one navigation theme dive and then the other two dives or specialties it really depends on your instructor or on you on what type of dives or specialty that you want to 
that you want to take. Now the number of dives or the amount of dives that you need to start to the next level is again zero. There's no required number of dives or amount of dives that you need for you to proceed to level three or the next level. But for my personal recommendation, uh, it should be 75 dive log, 75 log dives. Because in that number of dives, uh, I guess you are already learning a lot of diving skills and experiences with your buoyancy and all that comes with diving. So that's why I recommend 75. And with my personal experience, um, I think when I enrolled myself to Advance Open Water or Advance Adventure, because I was with SSI in the past, I think I have um, one, I, I think I have 85, 85 or 90 dives before I started, before I enrolled uh, to Advanced Adventure under SSI or Advanced Open Water. So again, um, don't rush. Just take your time. Enjoy the dive and keep up the dive. Level or level three is what we call rescue diver. Now, this, in my opinion, is the best and most valuable dive course because in this training, you will be able to learn situational awareness, meaning to say, uh, when you're diving you're not only looking for yourself now but also you have to look after for the dive group or in a dive team that you are diving with to see if there are any uh, potential harm or danger or danger when you are diving and also you will be able to learn different first aid and basic life supports and also hypothetical problem solving and also you will be teach how to respond to any emergency situations or scenarios. Now the number of dives that you need to complete for this training is really uh, depends on your dive instructor and most especially it really depends on you how well you executed or demonstrated the exercises in uh, the different exercises for this uh, training. Now with only 41 lag dives you will be able or you will eligible to enroll for rescue diver course but for my personal recommendation it should be 100 lag dives or more than 100 lag dives because in that way you are now uh, gaining more experiences when it comes to diving or you are already exposed to different skills of diving level four is what we call master scuba diver if you are a rescue diver with five specialty certifications, then you are qualified to become a master scuba diver. Um, in this level, you don't have to do any trainings. All you have to do is just go to a dive agency or a dive center and pay a certain amount for you to get that shining, shimmering little card that says master scuba diver. Uh, because this is like a reward from your dive agency about you getting the different courses from them and paying them certain amount of money for the different courses so this is like a reward um, anyone can be anyone can be a master scuba diver as long as you are a certified rescue diver and has a fifth uh, and has a five specialty certifications and 50 lug dives now um, when we talk about or when we talk about the word master scuba diver so it means that you are already a master of everything or when it comes to diving the answer is no because even um even those divers who has been diving for 20 years or more than 20 years and has 10,000 log dives they don't call themselves masters because for them for you to become a master is just keep on diving and learning different experiencing experience and learning different dive experiences and skills in every day of your uh, diving life so that's how you will be able to become really a master of everything when it comes to diving congratulations you just reached the top of the amateur diver level or the amateur diver uh, level pyramid. I call this one amateur level because 
you are not entitled to work or in a liability point of view you are not uh, entitled to work in a recreational diving you have to be a dive master a dive instructor so on and so forth for you to work or for you to become a professional diver there you have it i hope you've learned something uh, from this vlog and i hope this will inspire you to really go out and be a certified scuba diver and enjoy the underwater world um, i can assure you that you will really enjoy diving or seeing the underwater world it's so different down there and i'm sure you will be loving every bits of it uh, looking at the fishes learning different scales and also seeing how colorful underwater is now um, if you think that this is very helpful just click on the like button and also if you have any suggestions or any questions about diving just uh, leave a comment on the comment box below and if you are new to my channel please do hit the red button that says subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever i drop or i upload a new video so I hope I'll be seeing you all of you next time. And I am so happy to see, uh, and it's so nice to see you again with all of those beautiful smiles that you have right now. And always remember to keep on smiling. Remember that you are special. Keep on smiling and the rest of the world will be smiling too.